Hello everyone, I am Cristina Pinneri and I'm here to present our work on real-time planning for model-based reinforcement learning. This work has been carried out at the Max Planck Institute in Tübingen, in collaboration with Shamburaj Savant, Sebastian Blaise, Jan Achterl, Jörg Stuckler, Mikael Rolinek and Gerd Martius. Let's start by looking at the anatomy of a model-based planning problem. The agent learns a model of the world from interactions with the environment and then uses this internal model to plan optimally in order to solve the specific task. The most popular algorithms make use of model predictive control, where the full plan is computed but only the first action gets executed. Planning with models improves dramatically sample efficiency, but there are of course some challenges. The first one is to be able to learn good models that also incorporate uncertainty. If that is achieved, a second less striking challenge is to make the planning procedure fast enough to be executed in real time. Previous methods in model-based reinforcement learning manage to reach astonishing performances, but still need about a second per step, which is one two orders of magnitude too slow. The method I'm talking about is planning with the cross-entropy method in combination with probabilistic ensembles of models. The reason why this is so slow is that it samples many action sequences and iteratively fits a Gaussian distribution on the top k samples called elites. Sampling-based planning can be made faster either with powerful and expensive hardware or with some important changes to the structure of the sampling distribution. In fact, in CEM, every action of the sequence is planned independently from the others meaning that there is no temporal correlation inside the sequence, which is not very realistic. With our improved version of CEM, we sample action sequences from Gaussian distributions, correlated along the planning horizon. This creates smoother and more coherent trajectories, which allows the system to visit faraway regions of the state space. In addition to this, we equip CEM with memory by preserving part of the leads for the next time step, while adding random actions for the last planned time step. This, together with other improvements detailed in the paper as decay of the population size, keeping elites along the iterations, shifting elites along time steps, executing the best action and distribution clipping, increased sample efficiency by 2 to 22 times, and at the same time performance, up to 10 times more, but let's look at some experiments. We first consider the performance with ground truth models and then with models learned from pixels. Here are shown some of the environments which are considered particularly difficult to solve, also by model-free baselines, because they either have many degrees of freedom or the reward signal is sparse. ICEM can solve the task with a very small number of samples per time step, both in the manipulation environments and in the complicated humanoid stand-up task. With this small budget, the standard CEM would usually fail, as shown in these plots. On the x-axis is the number of samples per time step, and ICEM performance is in yellow. Only by increasing the budget, the other CEM baselines converge to our method. We evaluated ICEM also on models learned from pixels, and as we can see from the curves, we managed to get a performance close to a sample extensive version of, of CEM, while still being able to plan in real time. The code will be released soon at this URL. Thank you for your attention and see you at the poster session.